the residents of Rolling Hills Estates, a small community on the Palos Verdes Peninsula, in southwestern Los Angeles, have been sharing their home with dozens of beautiful wild peacocks for almost 100 years. The exotic birds have always added a rustic charm to the upscale suburb, but as their population continues to grow uncontrollably, many residents now view them as a terrible nuisance. For several decades, the people of the peninsula have tried to keep their peace with the birds. The peacocks were actually an added attraction at one point, with buyers choosing homes specifically because they fell in love with the beautiful creatures. There were regulations, education programs and behavior modification in place, all in order to accommodate the lovely peacocks. Palos Verdes Peninsula has many sights to see, crashing waves, rolling hills and peacocks in the trees, said Mary Jo Hazard, an author who lives in the peninsula. What fascinates me is, they're so beautiful. They're so exotic and I don't think there's anything more fascinating than seeing peacocks on the roofs, peacocks walking across the street. Poulin also expressed his displeasure at his neighbors feeding the peacocks with bird food, discouraging the birds from leaving the area to look for food. There's no mechanism to reduce the population, and people are annoyed. There's a lady that has 28 on her tree every night. She can't even talk on the phone. Those who are against the peacocks have a few valid points. They are extremely noisy, scratch and damage cars. Their droppings are everywhere. They hop high onto roof tops and damage roof shingles. They also block roads and traffic, soil driveways and make a lot of noise at night. For all these reasons and more, the patience of many residents is wearing thin. There isn't a clear solution in sight to the peacock menace for now but many residents would be unhappy if the birds were to go away. I'd be very sad, said Eunice. I grew up in this peninsula. I guess I'd feel the same way ranchers and farmers feel when they lose their ranches and their farms.